All right, what is going on my dudes? We are back here today with a video that uh, I'm very excited to make, man. This is uh, something I've wanted to happen for a very, very long time. We're gonna be talking about the Mr. Fantastic value update buff, man. So, uh, I love Mr. Fantastic. I love the Fantastic Four. If you guys couldn't tell by the uh, graphic that, you know, appears at the beginning and end of all my videos every single time, all my streams and everything, my profile picture, I'm a huge Fantastic Four fan, and I love Mr. Fantastic. I really, really do. Uh, I have him as a five-star, rank five, sick 200. I have a duped six-star. I would love to be able to bring him up to rank three one day, man, even if it's not immediately, uh, just because I do have him as a five-star, and I don't use him too often because at the end of the day, he's not the most suicide friendly champion in the entire game and that's usually my mastery setup and also i already have a version so those those resources are valuable and um i'm starting to fill out that science roster so those catalysts are going to be used eventually but who knows man after this buff he might be a little bit speedier and it might be uh worth the rank up we'll have to see i think that he's 100% worth the rank up as it is right now by the way i just already have the five star let me be clear on that all right i don't think i need two but anyway Let's talk about this guy, all right? We're gonna skim through this one a lot faster than the Vulture and Black Panther updates because uh, we know a lot about this, right? This is Mr. Fantastic. He's essentially only getting a strict value update buff, but we'll talk about the about, all right? And keep in mind, we highlighted everything we need to know just like we always do, okay? But first things first, Reed Richards is a brilliant scientist who spearheaded an experimental voyage into space accompanied by his friends and family. An accident occurred during his trip and the ship was flooded with cosmic rays after crashing back to Earth, Reed found that he could stretch and elongate his body in impossible ways. He became the leader of the Fantastic Four and uses both his powers of elasticity and his genius intellect to deftly handle all threats galactic to microscopic. All right, so his prestige is really, really high. Um, it's like top five science prestige, really, really, really good. 13,660. If I don't end up with a duped eye bomb in one way or another, uh, he's probably going to be my pick for rank three, six, 200 with all my science stones but hopefully we do um but anyway um Mr. Fantastic's mechanics. So you guys know how he works, right? Uh, he's one of the most versatile, utility-focused champions in the game. Many abilities that benefit his entire team just by being on it. You know, he's got the pre-fights. He has the uh, synergies with, like, She-Hulk for the power sting. The synergies with the mystic champions and the mutant champions to get the power back. Um, with the skill and the cosmic champions to pause the buffs. Lots of amazing stuff, right? But look at this. In his updated form, Mr. Fantastic now has twice as many persistent charges to start with and cap out at and his debuffs have received increased duration. Additionally, Fury buffs gained from his debuffs and Special 3 have received some juicy potency increases. That's awesome, all right? So we know about the pre-fight abilities, okay? Um, you can pretty much put them on any single node in your alliance making go in, or you can go in with any champion and you refresh them by knocking the opponent down. Really, really good stuff. We use it all the time in For Loki. We assign many Mr. Fantastic, sometimes two per war, and they usually don't get used in the fight but he's an amazing support character um really 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 amazing support character um so like right here similar to captain america infinity war as well mr fantastic has synergies that benefit his entire team depending on their class we were just talking about that okay he also has a fantastic synergy with the other members of the fantastic four if you put them all on the same team he really does they all get so much better um uh, so weaknesses true accuracy because he has evades and also debuff shrugging because most of his stuff comes on you know uh the debuffs that he puts on the opponent so you definitely don't want to use him against debuff immune champions that's for sure so ability is passive physical and energy resistance increased by plus 900 five percent chance to evade for each non-damaging debuff on either champion um does not trigger during a well-timed block uh, which is really 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 nice and attack ratings increase plus 184 for each debuff on the opponent developers note the attack rating increase per debuff is now more potent uh, remember to apply mr fantastic's pre -fight debuffs for those sweet damage games now a big drawback to mr fantastic in the past okay currently is that you can only activate two of these at the start if you only have one mr fantastic on the team but now mr fantastic starts each fight with four persistent charges and can have up to nine so now he's going to be super flexible in war you can place four debuffs in war for your alliance mates or yourself or in the quest for yourself and now also you can go into the fight with all three debuffs active without needing another mr fantastic on the team and that's going to be much much better for ramping up his, his damage output and getting through the start of the quest 
much faster and much more efficiently. So these debuffs each last for 15 seconds now and are refreshed when the opponent is knocked down. It used to be 12 seconds. That three second increase is actually going to be really, really nice. All right. Um, uh, developers note Mr. Fantastic now starts with twice as many persistent charges, like I said, and the max number of charges has increased. His debuffs have also received increased duration, resulting in significant boost to utility, more debuffs, more often, and for longer. Really, really good for a champion that gains additional attack when he has more debuffs, right? So you guys know about the debuffs, Petrify, Suppress, and Siphon. You know how they work. If you don't, um, there's probably a million Mr. Fantastic videos out there to explain that. Um, then there's also, you know, of, co of course, the Careful Study Crossfight ability. Um, that's basically when the opponent uses um, three of the special attacks in a row. Well, of course, uh, it's going to get weak, and that's going to be useful in stuff for, like, questing purposes, but you don't want you know the that to happen in like alliance for give him an attack bonus but maybe you can throw up mr fantastic against apocalypse in map seven and bait out you know a couple special ones it might be pretty cool might be a decent idea but that's a good ability man um but yeah heavy attacks on the last hit pause pre-fight for three seconds special attacks if no pre-fights are active special attacks are unblockable all of the stuff is the same right the special one is pretty much the same it has the taunt and the stagger for nine seconds um taunts remove and they use a special attack the next time a staggered opponent and triggers a buff that buff and all their buffs triggered at the same time will be immediately nullified all the same stuff special two when this attack is activated re-trigger mr fantastic selected pre-fight debuffs once each and the last hit shocks the opponent dealing 1380.6 energy damage over five seconds um and the special three Thinking with portals, if the opponent has at least one debuff, gain a passive fury for 20 seconds, increasing attack rating by 690 per debuff on the opponent. Developers note, fury potency has been increased from 20% to 30%, and you'll have debuffs to spare with all of those increases to persistent chargers and debuff duration. Now, you can convert them into raw damage. And the sig ability is pretty much the same. His offensive power rate is increased by 50% for each careful study passive on the opponent, and he gains an additional flat 20% chance to evade any unblocked blockable attack and this increases by three percent each time the opponent starts in a blockable hit capped at 50 percent for basic hits all right so synergy bonuses like he always had with thing human torch invisible woman if i had a below 20 percent health start of the fight heal 10 percent max health really nice otherwise gain 60 percent of a bar of power over six seconds really nice and the fantastic four synergy as well if all the uh synergy champs are present thing whenever you gain a rock sack gain an additional one human torch she just you know speeds up as visible woman only a 15% chance to unpause during a real time block. Mr. Fantastic, for each unique debuff on the opponent, they take 4% of Mr. Fantastic's current attack rating as direct damage per second. I could be wrong, but I do think this might be 3% currently, but it also might be the same. And then he has some other synergies as well, you know, with uh, Invisible Woman, pretty nice. Debuffs last 25% longer. Council of Reeds, increase your attack rating by 30% per the amount of Mr. Fantastics on your team. With Doctor Doom, of course, Doctor Doom has the heavy attack, um, uh, armor break, and Mr. Fantastic gain 5% of his max power each time a buff is nullified or its duration expires off the opponent. Pretty much gives Mr. Fantastic Mr. Dispersion. Really, really, really good synergy as well. And then there's the, um, the skill and cosmic one, the power sting one and also the mystic and um, mutant one as well. Of course, recommended mastery is despair and resonate because of all the debuffs and everything. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much Mr. Fantastic. He's a lot of the same, but his uh, attack rating should be up a little bit more. He should be seeing some more damage and the ability to have more persistent charges at the start and end of the fight is going to be really, really good for him. I'm hoping that he just pretty much uh, hits a little bit harder because right now he's already a fantastic champion. No pun intended. Um, however, guys, if you enjoyed this video, drop your boy a big old like. Comment what you think about this buff for Mr. Fantastic in the comment section below and make sure to subscribe button if you want to see some pre-buff Mr. Fantastic videos coming to you probably Sunday. Um, we're going to have a, you know, a, um, a lot of showcases for him. We have a 6.2 champion boss solo and abyss solo and some general damage rotations with different teams as well. Really cool video, so make sure you don't miss it. Anyway, guys, I'll be seeing you around. Take it easy.